Hello, Sonia Morgan. Well, hello there. Thank you for having me over to your home. So nice to see you. You're wearing this fabulous, for those of you, you know, cannot see, Ms. Morgan is wearing a cashmere robe and there is a dog on her lap (laughs) who is in heaven right now. Well, I have a taste for luxury and luxury has a taste for me. (laughs) (laughs) Where did that come from? I don't know. I just, I'm known for luxury because I have an aesthetic side to me. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking at my poodle sitting here right now, he's just divine and he is the epitome of luxury. He's a very luxurious dog. This is like Sonia at home. The pans are out. Speaking of at home. Yes. Speaking of I have my new toaster oven coming. Tell me everything about your toaster oven. And it's called Sonia at home. And this is a line of toasters that you have your name on. What do they look like? Are they pink? Or are they? Well, it's just one. I'm not doing colors. I, I found out from a friend over at Bed Bath and Beyond that colors don't do as well as just either a stainless steel or a black or a white. So interesting. So. And how? What was the process of developing your own toaster? Well, mine um, will have three racks, so you have, you know different choices. You can have larger pieces of meat if you pull one rack out, or you can put many appetizers at once if you use all three racks. Or if you want to have several racks of lamb, Mm -hmm. you can have the three racks in. So it's just to have more options with the racks. And then mine's going to be a an, an inch bigger all the way around. Oh, okay. There you go. So whoever said bigger isn't better lied. He's an idiot. <laughs> I have to have a bigger toaster <laughs> oven. And then tell me about the at home. You have those mitts and aprons that you're selling as well? Well, naturally I have to have mitts and <laughs> aprons because that brings up my costumey side. You yes. know, that's the Hello Dolly in me coming out. And I have the rhinestones and the bows and all the polka dots and the pinks and the blacks. And, and then I'm doing a little hounds too. Tell me one of the secrets of being a great hostess. What do you what do you, what do you think is the most important ingredient to a great party or to being a fabulous hostess? Well, the number one secret to being a great hostess is making sure people are comfortable. You know, being at ease makes other people feel at ease. Well, tell me a little bit about your background and what people might not know about you who only have seen you on uh, Real Housewives. Well, I know let's you, say you were in the restaurant industry. You went to FIT. Tell me a bit about your background and then and then how you landed on that show, how that came about. Well, I guess we could start with, you know, I, I grew up upstate New York. I was modeling and was hanging out at Saratoga. It sounds a little bit like Bethany, right? The Saratoga racetrack. <laughs> and I saw the ladies with their fabulous hats and the Arabs and their gorgeous gowns and all those stunning thoroughbreds and that kind of scene. And I was like, wow. And then I came down to Manhattan for Christmas shopping with my grandmother. And I'm like, oh, I want it all. Oh yeah. I want to do all of this. Was your grandmother fabulous? Was she, she both my grandmothers were fabulous, elegant, well-dressed ladies. Did she take you to the, um, Radio City all Christmas of that. Spectacular. Yes, and you the Christmas spectacular. The Christmas spectacular, the windows. rockets and the windows. You're exactly. Like, you're like, life can be like Christmas. It's so true. <laughs> and I always had a fashionable side to myself and, and just the whole idea of fantasy and making your dreams come true. Playing a role. And and so I went off to Europe and I modeled after doing some retail, fashion retail. Mm-hmm. I was a manager of a boutique. Where in Europe? I was in Rome, Milan, and Paris. What was your favorite of those cities? Well, I love time? I love the speed of Milan and the fashion, but the the colors in Rome and the people, the, the girls in Rome are so warm and beautiful. And uh, it's just such a relaxing town. And then tell me, speaking of leaps of faith, tell me about how you got involved on the show and oh. what was that and where did that come from? And have well, you seen the show before you were asked to be on it? I did not watch the show before, which is always a big joke because I always say, well, if I had watched it before, I would <laughs> never have joined. You know, I always make that joke. And I think it's always funny. They had come to me when it was Manhattan Moms, and they had cast Jill, and I thought we'd be perfect together, Jill and I. So you'd known Jill for a long time. I had seen her around town, and we had friends in common. I thought, oh, God, we'd be the perfect two Manhattan Moms. Mm-hmm. You know, we're so different, but so end. same. Sure. I chickened out. I, I turned it down. And then I saw how the girls were doing so well, just socially and around town. I saw how they were just looking so yeah. great, and their children were doing so well, and they were so happy with the show. So you let them go first and said, oh, okay. And thanks to them and the renegades that they were and and how uh, reality TV evolved. Yes. I'm a very lucky girl. So I needed to do what was best for me and my daughter, and that was to get working. Yeah. And friends of mine, very high-profile TV people, they were like, I don't know what you're worried about. You'll do very well on the show. So I called up Ricochet, and they said, 
we're no longer doing it. It's now Shed Media. Call oh, them. Oh, okay. So I called Shed, and they came over the next day and filmed me and oh, offered really? me the um, That's position. That's fabulous. This is your, like, second yes, and a half. Season. second and a half. And how is it going so far? Great. You guys just started filming a couple weeks ago. I can't believe how well it's going. Yeah? How are the new girls? Fabulous. Are, do you miss the, the, the other ladies, the ones that aren't back? Well, of course I always miss them, but, you know. Sonia, we have the Sonia at home. Tell me about... Sonia in the City? Well, Sonia in the City is my new catering company. And basically, I don't know why I didn't think of this long before, but, you know, I'm I'm known as the name dropper because I know all these fabulous people sure. from around the world. The epicenter is here in Manhattan, mm-hmm. and all my friends entertain. And I'm known for entertaining. Even way before I was married, mm. I was having parties all the time. That's what I do. And I'm a restaurant consultant. I'm a luxury brand consultant. Mm-hmm. I was involved with hotels and putting people together. That's what I do. That's why I always say I'm like Robin Leach meets Martha Stewart meets Hello Dolly. So why wouldn't I be a caterer? Why wouldn't I do special? So you started this catering company. So this catering co- company is just going to be a culmination of all I've learned over the years from, from dining at the Blenheim Palace or dining with Prince Rainey and Prince Albert. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've learned so many things. I know what people want. Mm-hmm. I know good food from the restaurant business and from living with the count for six years sure. and living in Europe as a model. And I'm going to bring it all together. And then I have this fabulous client list. So so what are some of your favorite recipes? And can you give us like a quickie for the toaster besides the meringues? Well, one of my favorite recipes these days in the toaster oven is just my mac and cheese with truffle oil. I saw that on your website. Oh. You put them in little ramekins. Yeah, it's so cute. You do And I'm coming noodles. out with ramekins, but in pretty colors. Oh, fabulous. I have the white ones now, but I'm going to come out with colors. I want you to have your whole own section at Bed Bath & Beyond. A whole section? I would stuff. love that. And to have a little cartoon of you in an apron with nothing underneath. Right, like a cartoon. <laughs> it's it it just be brainstorming. Can, could be fun. Yes. There's really not a week that goes by that we don't do the chicken parm because okay. kids love it, women love it, men love it. What do you do for breading on the chicken parm? None. Really? We just do the chicken with the tomato sauce, mm-hmm. the mozzarella shredded, mm-hmm. and a little parmesan. And this but is the, the and It's just the juiciest chicken you've ever had. Really? It so good. So but no breading. So, Sonia, coming up for you, I'm so excited about the stuff that you have in the works. And the new season will be airing probably around the spring. Yeah, it should come out this spring. It usually does. So I'm assuming when we wrap up that they'll have it ready for spring. Do you have any parties coming up that you're going to be hosting? Lots of parties. And are you going to do any, I mean, we spoke about this a little bit before, but we love your burlesque performances and hope to see more of it. And I'll leave it at that. But Oh, you'll I definitely see you'll more see. of it because with Sony in the city, you know, there's going to be parties that are going to want me, especially if I do the Bigman Boys engagement party in their wedding. Ugh, fabulous. They're not going to let me get away with fabulous. doing you- something. Sonia Morgan, thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you. And I wish you, you know, all the all, all things bright and beautiful. I don't think you'll need my my luck, though. It seems like you're doing a lot of different things, all of which are busting out all over. Well, good. I hope so. And we don't need me busting out of my costumes anymore. <laughs> I'm known for my malfunction of Honestly, well wardrobe. I don't think you've probably heard a single complaint. <laughs> thank you, thank Sonia. You.